One day you might come out to discover that the antenna on your car has been damaged either through an act of vandalism or an unfortunate mishap with a tree limb perhaps. And we're going to take a look at the procedure that might be typical for changing out the antenna. Uh, the first thing we're going to do in this case is we're going to remove the mast. And many of your masts today are removable separate from the rest of the antenna unit. And it's just a matter of taking a wrench and unthreading the unit. And if this was all that was damaged, uh, it's possible that you could simply thread another one in there. But in many cases, um, the threads could be damaged as well. This one, um, the base of it has female threads, but in many cases, the, the bases have male threads and they can become broken off uh, if the antenna is damaged. So if you needed to replace the lower part of it, we need to do a little more work. In this case, the antenna is mounted on the back of the car and we'll start on the inside by removing, first off, the ground screw and then the nut that supports the lower part of the bracket. Then we will remove the antenna lead by pulling it out and removing that from the bracket as well. Then back at the top, we'll remove the nut that holds it to the fender, unthreading it. Remove the escutcheon and gaskets out of the way, and then the antenna base will come out. Um, antennas that are on the front of an automobile are typically not as easy. The uh, lead that we have here is fairly short. Typically on the front of an automobile, the lead actually goes from the front fender all the way inside the car to the back of the stereo. And that can complicate things. First off, you have to fish the cable through. And in many cases, you will have to remove the radio and actually remove the cable uh, end from the back of the stereo itself. And so that can be somewhat more involved. To reinstall a new one, it is opposite of the removal procedure, just reverse the process. So in this case, we will install the base through the fender and reinstall the escutcheon. And we'll start the nut, but we won't actually tighten it all the way as of yet. And then we'll reinstall the stud through the support. Reinstall the nut. Tighten the nut. Reinstall the grounding screw. Tighten the grounding screw. Reinstall the antenna lead and plug it back in. Then tighten the nut that holds the escutcheon to the antenna base. And 
And then finally, reinsert the mast. And finally, tighten the mast itself. And there you have it.